So the Hunter Biden is the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, this thing doesn't end. Uh, you know, the more you dig, the more, I guess, people are discovering uh, the, 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 the more <laughs> the more bizarre, the more stupid, uh, the more ridiculous this Hunter Biden story becomes. So a couple of things uh, today, right? And this is stuff that's in the New York Times. This is, you don't have to dig in some, you know, a, a deep uh, right wing uh, channel to find this stuff. This is just out there because I don't think this is just factual stuff that's easy to, you can't avoid, right? So it turns out that Hunter Biden, when he'd take business meetings and like meet with other people, he would get his dad to call him on his phone. And he would take the phone in the middle of a meeting and he'd put his dad on speakerphone and his dad would like chat. Now they say, never about business, always just casual conversation, chattiness. And then Hunter Biden would say, hey, dad, I need to go, need to wrap up this meeting, bye. And he'd hang up and then the conversation would go on. <laughs> but he'd do this kind of on a regular basis. In other words, what he was doing was basically giving his counterparties, his counterparties, quote, the illusion of access. The illusion of access. So they all thought, huh. He, he, not only is he Biden's son, but, you know, he, he, you know, his dad calls him up regularly. And he, we just had a chat with somebody who might be president of the United States one day. And isn't this cool? And, uh, hey, if, 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 we get, if we get in with Hunter in a business deal, we'll have access to the president or the VP or, or we'll have access to, you know. And, and look, Biden has been in politics forever, right? So he's been in politics for decades and decades and decades. He knows how this game is played. He knows exactly how this is played. And basically, the Biden family, and I, I, I know I constantly emphasize this because I don't think other critics of Biden do, just like every, pretty much every other political family, play this game in order to maximize their income post being in office, uh, or prior to being in office, the Clintons did this, the Trumps do this. Everybody does this. It's great to see it here exposed. It would be nice if the media expanded beyond the Hunter Biden story and showed how this is prevalent throughout the political game. Uh, is Pelosi's husband completely independent from Pelosi in terms of his uh, you know, financial and economic success. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the Gores uh, are pretty wealthy and, and well off. Where did that money come from? Uh, you know, again, how did, how did um, Trump's son-in-law get a $2 billion investment from the Saudis? And you could go on and on and on. You know, the illusion of access, I love that. So when Hillary Clinton gives a speech at Goldman Sachs and gets $250,000, you think what they're paying for is the illusion of access? Or they're paying for access if she wins. She didn't win, bad investment, they write it off, not too bad. All right, next time, next, next person. But this is inevitable. This is the country in which we have, right? This is the country we have. We have a country, we have a mixed economy. In a mixed economy, politicians have a lot to sell. Access matters. You can become wealthy, super wealthy, by becoming a politician. Not by producing anything, not by creating anything, but just by becoming a politician. I mean, have you seen the Obama's new house? Now, I... That's all from, you know, I'm sure consulting fees and speaking fees and, and book deals and things like that. But God, that's a lot of books sold. That's a lot of house. And there's constant income. And why is that? Because he constantly gets paid for speaking, consulting. Why? Because he's connected. He's connected now because he's a great speaker. I mean, he's not a bad speaker, but but all of them. Some of them may be a little bit more honest. Some of them may be a little less honest. But in a mixed economy, what you provide is massive 
incentives to be corrupt. And most politicians can't stand uh, doing that. And the Biden family, it appears, Hunter Biden just is a creep, right? I mean, he just looks like a creep and everything we know about him and his drug use and his, uh, the, the parties, the sex, the alcohol, all of that. The guy's a creep. And he's exactly the kind of person, you know, the, 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 exactly the kind of person who you'd expect to sell his family, sell his soul, sell everything. And uh, the fact that his father participated in it, participated in it, um, is pretty disgusting. I mean, what, what Hunter Biden did is basically sell his father as a brand, as access. Super corrupt. I mean, from the first time I heard that Hunter Biden was on the a board in Ukraine and in China, I've been saying... The only reason to put some person on the board is because of access to his dad. But it just gets nutty. I don't know if you, the other story you saw, this is about his, uh, his art. You know, Hunter Biden is an artist. I'm not going to show you pictures to spare you, to spare you the... the, the uh, but he's a, quote, modern artist. He splashes paint on a canvas. Some of it looks like something, maybe vaguely. Anyway... He, he, his art sells for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe millions of dollars. We don't know. It sells for a lot of money. Now, why would anybody buy Hunter Biden's art? Well, to buy favors with the Bidens. So in order to prevent that appearance of, you know, uh, 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 again, selling favors, they created a, a, uh, the gallery that sells Hunter Biden's art says that it will not, it does not release to Hunter Biden the names of the people who buy the art. However, it turns out that Hunter Biden actually knows the names of a few of the art buyers. And one of those buyers who bought one of his pieces was appointed, was appointed uh, last year by the president, Hunter's father, to a government commission working to preserve European historical sites. Now, don't even get me at, don't get me started on why the United States government has a commission working to preserve European historical sites, paying people salaries for this, spending who knows how much money on this. Why? Can't the Europeans take care of preserving European historical sites? We have to subsidize not only their defense, but also the preservation of their historical sites. I mean, talk about <laughs> over the top, right? But the government is full of these over the top things. There's a million little things, and this is why it's so ridiculous that they, they, they pretend they can't cut government spending. I mean, here's one that could just eliminate tomorrow. Anyway, she got this position. Now, nobody knows. Did she get the position before she bought the art? Did she get the position after she bought the art? And it's clear Hunter Biden knows she has, she has bought the art. I don't know how that's clear, but it is clear. And uh, so this, you know, the accusations are this is pay to play. You buy Hunter Biden's art, you get a nice juicy commission somewhere. You can put in your resume. Maybe the government pays you six figures and, uh, and all is good. Maybe the government pays you as much as it costs to buy the art. And so every day something new like this is, is breaking about Hunter. And, and of course... There's all the Burisma, the China, there's the money that's supposed to be transferred, millions of dollars that nobody can find. There are the tapes that have disappeared. There's the guy who had the tapes who has disappeared. Um, there's a lot of disappearance going on. There's a lot of stuff going on here. This is, yeah, I mean, there's no question this is corruption par excellence. 